hope she traveled. And our women who made a difference. A cooler kids gift to our community. Seeing the highway and seeing being denied. Maureen Kenny, portrayed by Zach A. What's going to happen after the city makes a highway through the marsh? Where would all the animals go? Will there be more pollution? Fortunately, we don't have to think of the consequences anymore because there is no highway through the marsh. Why would anyone want to destroy these animals' habitat? This is an essential question which I want to find the answer to. When you look in the marsh today, you see unique birds and animals. Also, you might notice the large body of fresh water on the trails which birds use to find fish to eat. When you look above you, you see trees that colorful animals are in and bird nests. I can imagine a highway running through the marsh, pop cans over the place, paper and food on the ground which is polluting the environment. When you think about it, there are more negatives than positives for this highway plan. This is why I gladly joined the Mississippi Valley Conservancy so that we can discuss the environmental problems happening not only to La Crosse, but all over the United States. The other groups I'm a member of are La Crosse River Marsh Coalition and Cooley Region Sierra Club. We also travel around and take pictures to help protect the environment. There are many other groups I belong to. It takes a greater amount of people to actively conserve our beautiful marshlands. Maybe you'll choose to get involved in the many lacrosse area environmental organizations. I feel proud of myself in doing my part in maintaining our natural environment to enhance the quality of life for the animals and people. This podcast brought to you from Lacrosse, Wisconsin by the Cooley Kids at Longfellow Middle School in conjunction with the League of Women Voters.